to Madden 25. Quick update here for those of you that have a Patriots theme team, or there's a couple other players that this happened to, and EA fixed this uh, yesterday or day before that. But uh, Landon Roberts here on the Pats theme team, he did not have his team chemistries on here, so you're stuck. If you know using him with Steelers team chemistry, which is cool if you got a, a Steelers team team, I don't currently have one. I um, only have the Patriots, but he also gets the Dolphins and Steelers. Those are the teams that he's played for. So you know I'm able to change that, get that plus two excel strength, and then the one uh, plus one change in direction and speed. And you know this helps anytime you're getting a speed boost on your card, obviously in mutt or, or just Madden in general. Uh, I mean, that's a big boost. So he's up to an 88 overall, you know, with the boost um, from an 87, um, whatever. Gets that Patriots team chemistry. And, uh, yeah, that's just wanted to put that out there for maybe uh, someone running a patch theme team. If you didn't realize that they had fixed this or if you didn't even know about it, uh, yeah, it was a bug there, but they did address it. So just a little FYI. Um, this is my patch theme team. And as far as I know, in most feared part two, there were no Patriots. Uh, I didn't see any. I've looked. Um, I'm not sure if there's some for, you know, uh, doing like solo battles or uh, solo seasons or head to head event or anything like that. I will say this if you do the so, uh, solo season, this right here, on the amateur. So I just completed the 31 games on amateur because I'd. What I was doing is I was doing these just for XP and stuff and, you know, uh, stats or whatever. And um, I was at like 28 wins. And I went ahead and finished the the few games that I had left. And it does give you an option for a most feared pack. Um, in my opinion, it's not worth it to take that most feared pack. I would either take the three or four red zone packs or the 40,000 training or uh, coins. I mean... You know, if you want to try your luck, I would say go with the um, the touchdown packs, whatever they are. Uh, or if you want to take the coins, you know, the guaranteed uh, coin. 40000 is not that much, so I, I feel like you're better off just taking the three or four packs. I think they're either red zone or touchdown. I can't remember. I think they're touchdown. But um, anyway, I think there was four of them. It may have been three. But um, I chose the most feared pack. It's only one, and it's definitely not worth it. I think I pulled like an 80. I don't know if it was 82 or 84, but it was like a single card. Um, so just a FYI, in my opinion, avoid that. I don't know what you get with this. I'm currently 6-0, but I haven't played this. Um, I'm just doing amateur. Just Like I said, I've was been doing I've been doing it for like a month now and never finished it I just I've had it since the beginning of season three where I'll just play like a few games maybe like a game or two every day for like our daily objectives and stuff like that anyway it's just a little bit of info there for someone that's curious you do have the most feared option there but I would avoid it and then last but not least I think with the mud draft yeah the mud draft they did add like a part two to this um, so if you look at the field pass here, you come into most feared, I think you can win 10 games now and you get a reward. So if you come over here to win games, uh, yeah, right here, one out of 10, one out of five. So I've played the one so far, but it's basically, you're not getting any extra reward for it unless you go five and oh. So if you go five and oh, I basically quit out my last game because my hotel Wi-Fi is so bad. But uh, if you look right here, you can see right there with, if you win four games in a row, you will get the 89 overall Carlton Davis. And then if you get the five games in a row, you get the 90 overall most feared fantasy pack. And then the six, you get the scary pack. Uh, the spooky, scary, terrifying, all that. I mean, whatever. They are what they are. Um, anyway, you know, I'll hopefully have uh, internet um, Saturday or Sunday um, once I get my uh, mom moved uh She's having to move into an apartment, so I'll have it over there, and then I'll head back home and, you know, be back to normal. But I don't think they've added anything else here other than these challenges right here. These ones are pretty good to do. I knocked these out. I've done them on my um, No Money Spent account. This one is really good right here. If you look at the rewards, you're going to get that Most Feared Spooky Pack, which, you know, is a pretty good pack. You have an opportunity to pull good cards out of it. And then you got the 82 plus or 82 overall B&D. Honestly, on my non-money spent, this one I want to spend money on, I always don't take the B&D. Um, so, you know, I mean, maybe the one down there in the end, I'll try the B&D. 
Maybe I get a 90, you know, BND Tom Brady or something, and I can sell the one that I have that's a regular one. But, uh, yeah, go ahead and get the 2000 Fear as well. Anyway, but definitely do these. These ones are a little bit tougher. These are kind of like solo battle, like esque, like, you know, all Madden, you know, kind of like where they're, they cheese you out and stuff like that. But whatever. I mean, they're not terribly hard, but, you know, just a little FYI. Anyway, that's the video. I'm out. Peace.